So I got my beehive set here and they're gonna go inside of the car like this. What's up guys? How you all doing? I got my bees. You wanna see them? Check this out. Look at these bees. I had to drive with them. Look, some of them were on the outside. I had to drive really carefully not to tip them. So I got two hives. One and two over here. Beautiful. So in each two hives of this, there's two queens. So now we're gonna go down the field and set up the fence. So the cows doesn't tip over the bees and set up little tables. And then I'll show you how to put a swarm in a beehive. And it's gonna be pretty fun. I'm learning, so let me know if you have any tips how to do it. Don't be afraid to comment below and give me tips. So it's gonna be pretty fun beekeeping journey. I'm gonna show you once a week probably how I'm gonna be taking care of them. Well, let's go check this out. So that's why we're gonna set up this little two hives on those little tables. And we're driving in the fence. And because it's temporary fence, this is where all the fence is gonna be. And all that is gonna be a ton of different flowers. And there's gate going to be over there. So for now we're just gonna set up temporary fence so the cows doesn't knock off the beehives. This is an awesome tool, driving in the, the posts into the dirt. It's a spring inside of it, so every time you hit it, it bounces up. Makes it much easier than doing it with the hammer. Boom, that's how easy it is. So guys, now bees are loaded in a side-by-side, -side. we're gonna take them to the field, set them up, and then, then we're gonna bring and put bees in them. So this is what they look like, now we're gonna put bees in one of them. I'm gonna take the whole top off and put my bees on the bottom first. So I have to take few of this out and then I'm gonna put them in later. Okay, first we're gonna take our queen out. So it's beautiful non-windy day, it's nice, it's a little bit of windy but we don't want too much wind. So now we're gonna open them up, ooh, here you go. I kinda know what I'm doing, let me know if I'm doing something wrong because this is my first time. Come on Lynn, come out. Here you go, this is so heavy. I wonder why. Ooh. This is just the feed. So I'm gonna set it on the side. I wanna kill any of those bees. Maybe I should get the suit on. Okay, bees, go away. So now I'm gonna take off the queen. Please don't judge me, this is my first time doing this. So as you can see the big one it's a queen and those little ones I guess they put it with the queen to keep her company. So there's a cork over here and a candy cork, sugar cork. So I'm gonna take off the cork, stick it in the beehive and the bee's going to eat the sugar cork and let her free and that way she'll be free and start doing her thing inside of the hive. So I'm gonna take the cork out. Just like this. You see how little this cork is? Simple. Now there's a sugar cork left. They did a good job. So now I'm just gonna stick her inside over here. In between two of these ones. So now I'm just gonna dump them all out. Just like this. It's okay. Okay, I'm gonna stick all this back in. Careful, I don't wanna kill bees. Come on, get out of there, don't. Then I'm gonna put another stack, get those bees out so I don't squish any of them. And the last one is gonna be just an empty one on top of it. And the empty one, I'm just gonna stick all this in here. They're gonna get out, hopefully find the, their way out sooner or later and then I'm gonna put feed on top of it just like this 
and of course cover it all up with the top layer okay that should be all done I feel like I'm professional at this now feeder boom this one was much easier nice while they chilling I'm going to take the queen out same thing as you can see the queen is the big one over there and they have a couple of few workers up in there again I'm gonna take off the cork and there's a sugar cork they're just going to eat it too and let her out so just going to get tape and tape her right over here boom and then I grab another one and just slide it and keep her in there okay let's dump all these bees swarm of bees looks like it's most of them check this out look how beautiful they are love it so now I'm just gonna put this back carefully I don't want to kill any bees move aside boom just like this and for now on top I'm just gonna put empty box I'm gonna make it one story go away you see I'm gonna brush them off because I don't want to squish any of them come on go away Go away just like this boom now we're gonna get the rest of the bees that didn't get out and then I'll take the box out later once they all get out from that little box then I'll put the feedback in and this is my killer. I'm gonna stick it right in between of this box. Just gonna close the hive. Okay, then we're gonna hook this up so the wind doesn't tip it over, and then we're gonna put the rocks on top of it. Okay, they look pretty calm and looks like they're happy so hopefully they'll do well i don't think that's a good idea got a oh one. snap and then it's displaced in way too much one is <laughs> what was going on? for some reason 